about engines that, that calms me down. That was a little messier than what we expected. Nasty. And the supercharger oil stinks. She got a bath. She said it smells good. It smells like shit. Putting the new oil in. With this supercharger, there's a nut on the bottom of it. This is the D1 SC. There's a nut at the bottom, and that's how you drain it. There's also a flathead screw on the top in the place of which I'm squeezing this fluid in. And you take that off, and it has a dipstick with it as well. You just put the whole bottle, six ounces of co charger, supercharger. Once you, you could do so. Supercharger oil or whatever brand supercharger or fluid your supercharger recommends. But what I did notice when we were changing the oil on the Whipple one, that oil also stinks. So supercharger oil stinks. I already checked the new fluid. This is the dipstick that I was talking about. With the flat head attached. I don't know if it'll focus. Yeah, that just goes right. In there, put that in there, get it started, and then tighten it up. She needs a bath. guys we are back from lunch and back with this video the clips that you saw at the beginning of this video the way it opened up I actually had previously recorded and somehow all the stuff in my phone got deleted all the videos but I did manage to piece that little part of it together for you guys so that you can see that let's see if I can get my phone set up somewhere all right I think we're good here Couple of parts still left to put on the Mach 1. Just haven't had time to get around to doing those things. And we are still waiting for the daughter body to get back from Magnum Powers for my truck, the black one, the Lightning. But hopefully we can get around to um, installing some of the parts this week. Plan to take the kids to an Astros game later on this week on Friday. So we'll see what we can do either this week. I know we got rain in the forecast. Or if not, we'll see what we can get to this weekend. But let's get to the rest of this video. Looks like we got a package. I went ahead and unboxed it. This is the MagnaPowers Big Mouth Auto Body. Uh, I was having a lot of problems and issues with it um, hanging. Um, yeah, I cleaned it up, took it apart. Hopefully, fixed the issue. The biggest auto body that you can run on the Lightning. Unless you um, have like a custom um, antlet or something. In the form of equipment and monetary donations. Now, how are you? We are back. The weather seems to be holding up a little bit. Hopefully long enough to where we can get this done. So one of the things that we're going to change out is this third brake light that we have over here. 
You know, wife's truck. This is the Axial LED third brake light. Let's take this out real quick. Okay, so smoked LED third brake light. Swap that out. Got the Termi over here. Pick this up from American Muscle. Swap that out and headlight bulbs. They are currently halogen bulbs and they're like the yellowish, you know, regular headlights for some HID lights. They are like this yellow color and they do not match the fog lights that are LED. Work on those things real quick. Hopefully the weather holds up long enough and permits us to do that. If not, I'll have to pull out the red truck and get this one in there. But let's get started with the third brake light first. This is how this one lights up or looks. I already got the old one off. I'm not gonna go really into too much detail on the R&R. &R. It's pretty straightforward. Two deep socket 10 millimeter bolts. And this is the new one. It has a harness that you're gonna disconnect from here and put on the new one and reinstall. Got those transferred over like that. I'm gonna change this to an LED bulb as well. I'll take all these little bulbs out because they're now LEDs. And real quick, we're gonna clean off all this junk right here. Give it a good seal. Give it a quick wipe down. I already tested the new LED third brake light. Everything works. Let's get it snapped in. So there she goes. I think it looks really good. Really stealth. Goes with the color scheme. I like it. On to the front lights. Got the projector headlights inside. So I'm going to swap everything over comfortably. Sit down. I have to remove these little screws right here and hold this in place. And transfer these over. Will you give me a break one time? After all this, this kit freaking sucks. It didn't include a harness. This part didn't include this part, which we need for the ground and everything. Uh, so, kind of sucks. So, I'm head over to the auto parts store and pick up h1 bulb hopefully they have leds in stock if not then i just have to go with one of the sylvania little bush looking ones for right now until i order that if i do but that's where we're at right now i get these back in because i have to go to work in the morning at 5 a.m and it's dark so i'm gonna need my headlights so i ended up grabbing these 50 bucks hopefully they look better than the ones that were on there not too much of a difference between these two bulbs hopefully we get rid of that yellowish tint and gain some visibility on these see y'all when they're on all done my wife's here demonstrating uh, they're a little bluer than the stock ones and let me show you guys the third brake light. LED third brake light. That's it. We're all done. See y'all guys tomorrow. We're getting ready to close out this video. I did end up putting the throttle body back on the lighting. Got that buttoned up. So on the vlogs to come, we're gonna have. A little bit of finishing out the tuning on this one and after that's done track videos once we get some cooler weather here in texas but as always i appreciate all you who have stayed until this point of the video all you have showed love in the past to the videos that we've had and made and showed love to the channel social media whatever it is till next time guys i'm out